dissertation. I've become very concerned uh, for the kingdom of God on earth. Christ is moving closer to returning and the church seems to be turning further away from Christ. 2 Timothy 3 is a hard chapter to read because it uh, seems to be, uh, it sounds like a self-centered, cruel, and unbridled culture. So at first hearing, you and I, church folk, Holy Ghost filled folk, tongue talkers, water walkers, at first hearing, we would automatically assume that this chapter is about sinners, people in the world, heathens that don't know God. But I'm going to ask you to look a little deeper. Paul is speaking to Timothy not about sinners, but about saints. He's talking about you and I. Paul is warning Timothy about Christians in the church, not sinners at the moon. Our devotion will begin, uh, will be given, our, our generation will give more uh, to worldly things than to things of divine purpose and nature. Our devotion will be given more to things that please our flesh and our fleshly cravings than things that are related to our divine purpose. The church culture will slowly but surely become less devoted to God, not from a club, but from the church pew. Uh, verse 5 warns us by saying, and from such people turn away. However, you must look a little deeper and receive the revelation of that charge. Regular elementary thinking church people will hear that and think and start looking for people with those traits and turn away from them. This scripture is not telling you to look out for a certain type of person. This scripture is a warning that this is who you could turn into. And the real instructions are for you to make sure that you turn away from turning into this type of person. Look at your neighbor and say, it could be you. As pastor, I've noticed uh, that uh, many converts don't have a problem with being devoted. They just have a problem with being devoted to God. I talked to you last week about even how our culture, we're devoted, people are more devoted in concerts and, and Jay-Z concerts and Drake concerts uh, and football games. Uh, they're more, they participate more in those functions. They, they put, they go buy a t-shirt, they buy a uniform to bring to the game. Then they buy a cushion because the, uh, the, the, the things are too hard for their bottoms. Then they go get hot dogs and beers and, and sodas, amen, so they pay for their ticket they give their tithe offerings and special missions offering and they're not complaining they're not crying. the wave is coming everybody get up and wave but here we sit in church uh, people are leading you in worship the words are on the screen you know the song you've been singing it since you've been five and you'll stand and not sing a song that's talking about a God not a God you're not familiar with but the God that helped you when you needed it saved you and snatched you out of the dunghill of sin and we have become I'm quick to respond to things of carnal appeal and slow to respond to the things of God and I'm calling the people of God out of this slow and lethargic rut we have got to say yes quicker it's not the fact that we, don't, we can't be devoted. We just don't want to be devoted to God. Let me prove my point just a little bit more. Lines at clubs will wrap around the club. Lines, people, when the new iPad comes out, people will sleep out and lines will be wrapped around Apple stores uh, uh, for people to uh, get the new iPad. Maybe some of you, I'm not touching your area, but some of you in here, you wrap lines in the mall when the new Jordans came out. Nobody want to say nothing to me. At certain rap concerts you rap lines all around dip week comes this is just a week to celebrate a guy that spins record that you don't even know and you're a part of everything the whole week and we can't get you to come to Bible study during the week one time you don't have a problem with being devoted you just got a problem with being devoted to God cuz how come our line not long you want to make sure you get to a movie on time, but you come in here whenever you want to. You get involved whenever you feel like it. I know I'm killing your joy. There's no lack of devotion. We have just altered the direction 
of our devotion. Here's what I know about devotion, Carlos. It's built off of or geared because of two purposes. You are either devoted out of convenience or covenant. You are either devoted to something because it's convenient for you, it allows you to be lazy, it does not challenge you, but let me tell you something about covenant. It is not always convenient. Oh, but God is calling for a group of people that will be devoted to covenant and show the world that the requirements, the discipline and devotion that is required to be a Christian, it's worth the results. And now the story that I'm reading from today, it is an article on MSN, uh, MSN.com. It is called Seven Companies with Cult-Like Followers by Michael Brush. And uh, so I'm going to read a couple points out of that and give uh, some revelation on it. Uh, uh, I believe everything that's set up in the system, Reuben, uh, in our world, there are systems and organizations and businesses that are nothing but a, an imitation of God's principles and the kingdom of God. Uh, well, real rich people that give poor people money, they call them philanthropists. But the Bible calls them Christians. This is what we're supposed to do. And Christians don't have to be rich to help. See, Christians, we know we have a source. So if we've got one can of pilka beans left, we'll give it to somebody because God knows how to stretch. The government said we got to get a hold to these teens and get rid of these teen pregnancies and get rid of all of this stuff here. So we got to, uh, these STD cases and, and the government said we're going to start something. Uh, we, didn't, we can't go safe no more. We can't give out these condoms no more. We're going to start an abstinence campaign. Yeah. yeah, so they came up with just be abstinent, just abstain from it. That ain't nothing new. The Bible said flee fornication. But they're taking our principles. That goes to show we got the real deal. Oh, nobody going to like this. And some of us in here are more devoted to the imitation than the real deal. Uh, they said people join cults to make up for some nagging shortcoming like poverty or some sense of humiliation. This is what William Taft Stewart says. Uh, but let me tell you why I joined this thing here and why I'm devoted to God and Christianity. I did not join the church to make up for a shortcoming. I joined the church to grow out of coming up short. Because the more you diss God, the more you miss your mark. Look at somebody and say, I didn't come here because of my shortcomings. I came here to make sure I don't come up short. Yeah. Now see, only old saints can talk to me because he makes the difference. Yeah. He makes sure that I measure up to my purpose in the earth. Well, now it says that in a classic sense, cults are followers. Uh, they're gathered behind charismatic and but possibly dangerous leaders. That's what makes it a cult like that. When uh, you, are, you are devoted to a dangerous leader whose plan is to ultimately destroy you and kill you. Christianity could never be a cult because our leader has no plans to destroy or kill us. As a matter of fact, his plans are that we might have life and that life more abundantly. Here is what makes Christianity less appealing in this hour and with this consumer age. It is one word convenience. Christianity serving God and being devoted to God is not always convenient, but I can tell you something, it's worth it. Oh, I wish somebody would talk back to me. The more I serve God, the more I love God, the more I want to serve God. I still have the testimony after 10 years of building this church uh, that he gets sweeter as the day go by. Even when I'm aggravated uh, about projects and certain things uh, not coming to pass, I, I can't let that overtake my whole life because I've still been called out uh, among a special elect people. I don't know why when he was looking at the crop he didn't look over me and pick somebody by me I still am devoted to him because he had other choices but still picked me I wish somebody would take a praise break and thank God for picking you 
perfect consumers. Someone will buy every product every time. And probably uh, they will also pay more and pay extra to have certain products. Uh, they will also become brand ambassadors, providing free word of mouth advertising. I have pastor friends, sometimes when we are away at conferences and having lunch or dinner, all of them tell me and crack on me because I'm the only pastor at the table with a T-Mobile phone. And they say, Doc, you need you an iPhone, Doc. And everybody like, I used to believe the same way, but you're going to come on over, and you're going to come on over to this iPhone. Listen, I just need mine to ring. I need to be able to call out, and I need to be able to text out and get texts. I don't even really need to take pictures. I know how I look. I know how you look, because I can see. And you understand? So I don't really need all that. But guess what? They are not on Apple's uh, payroll. They are not certified advertisers. But you've got some of us that will we, will, we will promote a brand and won't promote salvation. You will tell somebody about a new, uh, a new label, about a new product, and you will not tell them about your new life. You won't tell them about what God has done for you. Look at somebody and say, you got to tell somebody. The old song say, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but he was so good I couldn't keep it to myself. Look at somebody and say, you should stand up and be a witness for the Lord. I got to get out of here. Give me five more minutes. If you push me, I'll get out of here. It says now that these consumers are becoming very involved. They are becoming very involved. Now, however, we can advertise our product even better than they can. I don't deny that the iPad has made things more convenient for me. I don't have to print out paper. I don't have to carry around hard drives and all that type of stuff. I don't deny that. But it is a life-changing product only because of convenience. But you and I have a product that's life-changing because it's life-saving. At the end of the day, this iPad ain't gonna get me into heaven. Oh, but something you and I have is not just life-changing, it's life-saving. I wish somebody would look back at me and say, you show right about it. Let's have old school church and tell the story. This thing is not just life-changing, it's life-saving. The old saints used to say, I looked at my hands and then I, I looked at my feet and they did too. And I, and I listen to my speech. I don't talk like I used to talk. I look at where I go. I don't go where I used to go. This is a life changing and a life saving product. I need somebody to praise them right here. In this article, there are seven uh, agencies that have cult like followers. Do not get nervous. I'm only going to talk about two of them. All right, uh, now let's look at the first. Now I'm going to have to read from some articles on some things. Uh, then I'm going to give you my revelation and my challenge and my call for you. But just come on, help me now. Uh, I've got the car started now. I'm going to need to go in the extra drive. Uh, uh, they, they first talked about Starbucks uh, and the selling community. And now the author says one of the worst things to do as an investor is to protect project your values onto the marketplace. In September 2002, for example, a colleague of mine in the financial press dismissed Starbucks, reasoning that he could get a 24-ounce cup of coffee at a 7-Eleven for less than two bucks. The economics of Starbucks didn't make sense. This is what uh, the analyst said. And so, but this, uh, it says, bad move, because since then, Starbucks stock has more than doubled compared with a fix this for me, compared with a 23% gain. Uh, that's why it's important to keep your own bias out of it, uh, says Morris. Now, they say that Starbucks uh, uh, has grown uh, with this $5 coffee for uh, more than one reason. See, people looked at Starbucks as a joke, but it's still here. 
All right. First off, it says uh, consumers carry Starbucks as a badge brand. This is what the analysts say. Now, they say people look at you differently if you're carrying a Starbucks cup into a meeting than with a Dunkin' Donuts cup. Something about that Starbucks cup says that this is somebody of excellent taste. This is somebody that will go the extra mile to make sure that they have the best. Now, you mean to tell me that you can walk into a boardroom with a Starbucks cup and somebody respect you more and I can't walk into a room with the Holy Ghost? I've got the best brand there is. It is the brand of being a child of God. This brand makes me walk into banks and get favor. This brand makes me walk into interviews and get favor. But it is this brand that when I'm at my job, when my neighbor on the, in the next cubicle is going through uh, they'll come over to my cubicle and say I know we're not supposed to do this uh, but I see you're a Christian uh, can you pray for me uh, where do you go to church uh, I'm going through some things uh, touch a neighbor and say oh yeah that's when I kick in uh, people don't like me because I come in with a Starbucks cup uh, but they like me because I got character uh, I got integrity uh, and for God I live uh, and for God I die uh, somebody shout Glory. And now Starbucks works hard uh, to consumers because they say the second reason is that they make sure you're joining a community uh, because in their stores they create comfortable lounge areas uh, and free Wi-Fi. Uh, so a part of the company's plan was to create what is called in marketing a third space uh, because people usually go from home to work and Starbucks said I'm going to create a third place, uh, a nice living room so that people don't just come into a small shop get their coffee and leave but they come into a small they come in to get their coffee sit with their laptop sit with their book or their novel study for an exam and throughout hours buy several cups of coffee see that's our problem some of you right now you think because you're here this morning you did God some favor look at your neighbor and say this ain't the third space this is your reasonable service. Uh, what about prayer meeting? Uh, what about uh, Bible study? Uh, look at your neighbor and say, you need to create a third space. Uh, we're born again believers. We just don't go from home to work. Uh, we're not just part of a Sunday church, uh, but every day we're called uh, to be powerful born again spirit to Apple, the home of the eye cult. Uh, they even call it the church of Apple. Uh, and Apple has adopted a, lo a logo uh, and a concept and the concept is think different. They said we've got to appeal to lifestyle if we're going to get people to buy into the product. And their concept is think different. That sounds like Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world. I wish y'all would help me in here. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Look at your neighbor and say think different. That's the only reason I'm here to day I think different because I've had this for a long time salvation is a revolution in your thought pattern the way of thinking that changes the quality of life for better and Apple they also said now that Apple is a hallmark cult company it's a good cult company because they make it seem like they're not selling it but you belong to this movement and you're in this thing together sounds like the kingdom of God but what I've learned from this is you can't celebrate a product you don't believe in and you can't sell a product you don't celebrate you need to fix your face and fix your faith some of you are so depressed looking you make it seem like serving God is a hardship at the end of the day serving God is a privilege serving God is an honor wish I had somebody huh? let the redeemed huh? of the Lord huh? you we, not only should you buy into it huh? but look at your neighbor and say sell 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 huh? you can't celebrate huh? a product you don't believe in huh? and you can't sell huh? a product you don't celebrate huh? look at your neighbor huh? and say I want you to come to church huh? but Monday through Saturday huh? 
sell, sell, sell. Uh, sell Jesus. Uh, sell him. Uh, he's the captain of your soul. Uh, he's the lover of your soul. Uh, sound the glory. Can I preach a little further? Can I preach a little further? Well, they said now that Apple, uh, this experience runs deep uh, because it's created a broad ecosystem uh, and the products are used, uh, the same technology. Uh, they can easily share content uh, with other Apple products, uh, but nothing else. Uh, that sounds like the kingdom of God. Uh, the kingdom of God uh, has always had its own operating system, uh, its own technology. Uh, it's called righteousness. Uh, Matthew 6 and 33 uh, said, but first ye seek uh, the kingdom of God uh, and his righteousness uh, and all other things uh, shall be added. Uh, what I love about Apple uh, is that Apple uh, only works uh, with other Apple products. Uh, so you got to convert uh, completely over uh, if you want to uh, get the full benefits uh, of the products. Uh, now I'm still a Windows guy. Uh, I'm still a Microsoft guy. Uh, so what I do uh, is create my message uh, on my computer. Uh, but I gotta email myself uh, the item and pull it up uh, on my iPad. Uh, download uh, a translating app uh, and pull up uh, on my iPad. Uh, but every time uh, I pull up the product, uh, I get the notes, uh, I get every word, uh, but there's a sign that comes up uh, and said this couldn't be translated, uh, and this couldn't be translated. Uh, there's some things uh, that get lost uh, in translation, uh, and some of you uh, are in transition, uh, and you got to convert uh, completely over uh, to the system of God. Uh, be not unequally yoked uh, together with unbelievers. Uh, for what fellowship uh, has righteousness with unrighteousness? Uh, what communion uh, has light with darkness? Uh, help me preach to somebody uh, and say switch over. Uh, all the way over. Uh, he said I'd rather you be hot or cold. Uh, choose ye this day uh, whom you will serve. Uh, let your life say uh, as for me uh, and my house uh, we will serve the Lord. Uh, South Lauren, uh, I need you to take a few minutes uh, and give them a crazy praise. The article says uh, that Apple uh, is now extending uh, its ecosystem uh, with something called uh, the iCloud. Uh, it, would, it lets consumers uh, store the content uh, on the Apple server. Uh, so you don't need a floppy disk like the old school. Uh, you don't need an external drive. Uh, Apple is now giving access uh, to the iCloud uh, to store your stuff. Uh, sounds like the kingdom uh, of God to me uh, because we have always uh, had access uh, to God's server. Uh, Matthew 16 uh, and 19 uh, says, and I will give unto thee uh, the keys to the kingdom uh, and whatsoever you bound on earth, uh, shall be bound in heaven uh, and whatsoever you loose on earth uh, shall be loosed in heaven. Uh, we've always had a server. Uh, we've always had access. Uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say, I don't need an eye cloud. Uh, I've got our God. Uh, he's not he away, uh, but he left me and you uh, to manage this thing. Uh, and now you've got the power uh, to make sure uh, that the brand of God uh, thrives and lives. Uh, touch your neighbor uh, and say, neighbor, uh, run with it. Uh, neighbor, uh, run with it. Uh, the system of the world uh, is an imitation uh, of a replica. Uh, it's just an imitation. Uh, the difference between uh, duplication uh, is it makes copies. Uh, but the more copies uh, you make, uh, the less qualities uh, you have. Uh, but a replica, uh, the same thing uh, that's in the 
the original is in the replica and the original authorize the replica tell your neighbor I'm not an imitation I'm a replica and the world is imitating the church of God it's imitating what we should be doing and just imagine just imagine if the world can become successful by imitating Christian principles if the world can build cult like followers by imitating the church of God what if you and me really became what we're supposed to be I wish I had more help I hate to get old school but I feel like my grandma she used to get up and say it's time to stop playing and she'd say let the church be the church if they can get successful by imitating me then I know I can do exceedingly and abundantly by giving myself as a reasonable servant because his intentions towards me are of good and not of evil touch your neighbor and say sell 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 because we have the best product I need you to help me look at your neighbor and beg him for a minute say please 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 I need you to sell somebody's uncle needs you to sell there's a crackhead that needs you to sell please please I need you to sell I need you to sell because our product is the best product it's God God is wise he's all knowing he's the knower that created knowledge he's omnipresent and omniscient he's immaculate and immutable he's the beginning of all things and the ending of all things he's the originator of originality he's the author that created authorization he's the author that created authoring what he says will outlast heaven what he says will outlast earth he's the creator of creativity he's the god that moved planets moons and stars and moved the sun yet he himself cannot be moved einstein calls him the unmoved mover i ain't got no help in here he is the unmoved mover he's my rock in the time he is my shield and my shelter he is peace when I want to go crazy he's another chance when I should be killed I should have been locked out I should have been left out but he gave me one more one more chance he's my sanity and my humanity he's my integrity and my purity he's my finances and my father there's not one thing that I need that he can't give because our God is everything and with a God who is all and can do all how come Apple has cult like followers and you are barely serving the Lord I need you to nudge your neighbor and say sell 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 come out of your corner come out of your cave 